this is Bella Yon, your lead nutritionist and recipe developer here at Metabolic Living. Welcome to today's Metabolic Super Meal demo for the Get Immunity Upgraded 30 Day Challenge. I am here to upgrade your immunity with tasty, nutrient rich recipes. They're very, very easy to make and they've got simple ingredients that you can find anywhere. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all my Italian sausage and red pepper stuffed acorn squash. Now, this recipe is very, very adaptable. So for my plant-based friends watching, you have your own special version of the stuffing, while for my low carbon ketogenic friends watching, you guys will be stuffing actually a different vegetable today. So whatever this recipe looks like for you, please just know that it's full of those immune boosting nutrients like vitamin C, potassium, and more. All of them have been designed with your health in mind. Nourishing your immune system with the right foods is obviously more important right now than ever. But with our lives turned upside down, that can be a real challenge, which is why we have developed all sorts of different variations for today's metabolic super meal. So whether you follow a paleo, keto, vegan, vegetarian, or our balanced metabolic lifestyle, we have got you covered. All you have to do is pop on over to www.metabolicliving.com and you are gonna get free access to all of the different tasty variations for this recipe, as well as free 30-day meal plans and also some shopping lists. Alrighty, let's get going. So this recipe serves four people. So feel free to scale it up if you have a large family or down if you have a smaller family, whatever is gonna fit your family's needs. It's a really awesome one for meal prepping and also freezing as well. So first ingredient you're going to need are two medium acorn squashes. They look a little bit like this. Now two, two ways to do this. You can either cut it in half first and remove the seeds or bake it whole and do that step later. Either way, squashes are really high in vitamin C, fiber, and potassium. As I mentioned before, if you can't find acorn squash or you're on a meal plan that doesn't require acorn squash, you can easily stuff spaghetti squash, butternut squash, zucchini, sweet potatoes, you name it, so, so adaptable. We've also got here two tablespoons of olive oil divided. Now, as always, feel free to sub this part out for your cooking oil of choice. On our spice plate today, we have one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm opting here for a mineral rich Himalayan sea salt or a kosher salt is also great as opposed to your standard table salt. Very important for mineral balance in the body. Over here we have half a teaspoon of black pepper, just added some great flavor in there. Over here, we have two cloves of garlic. Now I've actually popped these in my Vitamix to create a paste. You can mince these, you can dice these. Um, garlic is our nutritional superfood, so feel free to increase the cloves if you would like. And then over here, we have a quarter cup of finely chopped Italian parsley. It's actually for garnish, but it does provide some nutritional benefits. It's a known antioxidant, antibacterial, and also a digestive aid. Here we have one onion diced. Now onions enhance immunity by those antioxidant properties they contain. Then from my metabolic friends, we're gonna be using one pound of ground hot Italian chicken sausage. As always, feel free to sub out the sausage for your protein source of choice. If you do eat meat, then any ground variety is gonna work really excellently here. But if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, all you have to do is simply follow the recipe in your book. And you can also get some creative with some alternative protein sources that you have on hand. Just let me know how you get on, I would love to hear. And then here for some veggies, we've got one red bell pepper cut into a quarter inch dice. Bell peppers are an excellent, excellent source of vitamin C. Um, feel free to use different colors here. Again, it's whatever you can find at the moment. And then here we have five ounces of fresh spinach. Now, little note on spinach. Spinach is very, very rich in vitamin K and folate. It also has powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant abilities. And then also if you combine that uh, with the fact that it's very low in calories, it's easily one of the most nutrient rich foods on the planet. It also tastes amazing. If you don't have access to fresh, frozen is gonna work just fine as well. Just make sure you thaw and then drain the liquid prior to cooking. Alrighty, let's dive straight in. So 
Start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then placing the acorn squash on a rack in the oven and bake it for 35 to 40 minutes. As I did mention um, earlier, you can cut these in half and then bake, but it is gonna take some extra time and effort just to cut through them because honestly, the, the outer shell is very, very tough. So while the squash are roasting, grab a large skillet and add in there your onion, pop in the onion, your garlic, so your minced garlic or diced, whatever works best for you, and then your protein sauce. So I am, as I mentioned, using the sausage for today, but as always, it's about what works best for your dietary needs and your family. So pop everything into the skillet, give it a little bit of a stir, and then heat this whole thing over a medium high heat. You can use the wooden spoon to just break up the sausage. You want it as small as possible. And then just cook the sausage until there's no pink, and then it's just gonna be browned all over. This will probably take you about four to six minutes. Um, I have a previously cooked one here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your veggies. So pop in your red bell pepper, and then throw in your spinach as well. And what you're gonna do then is cook this for an additional three to four minutes until that pepper is just beginning to soften. And as you know, with spinach, it's gonna wilt until you can hardly see it. So cook that over the stove. And then what you're gonna do is simply remove the squash from the oven and then cut it in half and then discard of the insides, just some seeds and things like that. You can set that aside for composting and then just divide the filling mixture evenly between each squash cavity. So obviously this is all gonna be wilted but you can just pop it straight in there and then just fill it all the way up to the brim I'm just doing a little bit of an example here so when it's full like so return the stuffed squash into the oven and cook for about an additional 10 minutes when it's cooked you can garnish with your fresh parsley and season with salt and pepper this is my finished dish this is what your finished squash will look like if you are following the metabolic plan as you can see i've served mine with some of our kale salad from the other week but there you have it guys really delicious and immune boosting dinner recipe. Please be sure to snap a picture if you did follow along today or if you're watching later. And make sure you share it on social media with the hashtag getimmunityupgraded so I can see all of your wonderful creations. Please join me again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time for another delicious recipe. Now we are gonna be making fajitas for fajita friday one of my favorites this is a really really fun one to get the entire family involved adults kids grandparents whoever you've got at home it's very very adaptable and it's very easy it also contains an array of antioxidants thanks to our vegetables which are going to be used by all plants we've got bell peppers and red onions in there and of course it's absolutely delicious if you did miss the start of the Get Immunity Upgraded Challenge, or if you join late, please don't worry at all. You can still join and you're gonna be able to access all of our free recorded cooking demos over at www.metabolicliving.com. Plus, we're gonna give you free workouts and a 30-day meal plan with grocery lists and those recipe customizations to fit your preferences. As I mentioned before, we've got something for you, whether you're paleo, vegan, vegetarian, ketogenic, anything else, we've got you covered. Please also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube over at Metabolic Living. We do post content daily, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of the awesome stuff that we are posting. Remember, guys, we're all in this together. So let's come out of this stronger than ever. It's time to boost your metabolism, strengthen your immunity, and then flatten this curve. Enjoy your stuffed squash, and I will see you all tomorrow.